Good morning, everybody. It's Drew. And Courtney. And she purposely wore maroon because I'm wearing maroon. I literally just said I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. It's another beautiful Saturday, and in our sunny state of Florida, especially during the winter time when everyone up north is out of season, our season gets that much better. Woo! Another 200 plus sales advertised, and a great neighborhood sale that's by my parents' house that we're going to go to first this morning. So hopefully right, we can. There's no way it's better than last week. Well, it's not going to compare to last week. Last week we found. Tons of stuff at a great price. I mean, we bought the smartwatches last week for 25 bucks and already sold them. We sold them that weekend for $225. Exactly. It doesn't get any better than that. But today is going to be a great day. It always is in this beautiful state of Florida. And let's go see what we can find. Oh. Thank you. What we got here? That's you. You do that. Oh, so that's full of games. Yeah, was, games oh, this there. one? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Um, I would say five for the games, and then you do the rest of five it. Five for the games. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that's like ten billion dollars. Sounds good to me. All right. Get a good breeze off of him too. If you're if you're hot, just set in front of that thing. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> Oh, okay. Me? Oh. I like him. This one for Blake. For I like him. For her Christmas stuff, but I don't know what he does. I like him. $25 each. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, plastic. Big plastic horses do really, really well, but. I think it's be 25 cents each. That's what the sign says, though. It says $25. Um, I think you said How much are your comic books? Uh, depends, I guess, on... Matching, like, uh, what is that? A China cabinet? Yeah? I think so. The whole deal, Bucks bag, holding, oh, like, suit bag. I just used it, like, uh, a month ago for a trip. Got new luggage, so, you know. 
How much is the Wii? The Wii is ninety dollars for everything. It's got like. You got any more? Any extra games with yes, it? Yes, there's, there's somewhere there is games. There's like five games. There's six games. Where are they? All right, I gotta go in. The, hope they didn't walk away. Hold on. I would sell it all at once. Yeah. Because if you don't, then... Would you take 65 to start? I'll take 80. How about 70? 75. <laughs> I don't... Just the lights broken. I know. Well, I give them to her with two, and then she never gets me to Those, and I'm like, I gotta get rid of some of them. How much is the Miller Lite sign? How much is the what? The Miller Lite box sign over there? Uh, five bucks. It's five dollars? Yeah. Oh, you didn't see it yet, did you? I did have to call it. Five dollars. Right here. Dang it. Where? Raymond. Yes. What happened? I'll take a look at the Wii stuff. Chris Sims. <laughs> Jeff Garcia. Nice. How's our how's our stuff? I mean, yeah. I mean, our our appliances are good, and I'm sure when we go to get new. It's a Shiba Shiba. He's a Shiba. Uh, just gonna go over the stuff we got this weekend and we spent six hundred dollars <laughs> on stuff to flip and we've already sold a good amount of stuff from the weekend already which is great we purchased a Wii lot that was a wa uh, Wii still in the box with this Guitar Hero in the box um, some other items that were in the box and then some games Part of the games was Mario Kart with two steering wheels, and as I've said in the past, this is $40 all day long, and we've actually sold this set already for $40 free shipping, so it's good to get that sale out and done quickly. Um, again, 
this is another part of the sale was this Guitar Hero Legends of Rock 3 still in the box. About a $60, $70 item there. Um, it also came with the Wii in the box, which is about $60. Bucks. Uh, a Dance Dance Revolution, which isn't exactly desired. Um, some other good games, as well as a Wii Fit in the box. And the Wii Fit in the box would get right around $30. So that's, all in all, is a, you know, good stuff. A lot of good boxed items, stuff that's going to move, you know, quickly. Again, we've already sold this for $40 free shipping, which is awesome. Uh, at another sale this weekend, we picked up three of these arc touch bluetooth mouses for surface pros uh we got three of them for two bucks they're all brand new uh brand new sealed and we sold all three of them to the same buyer uh for 120 dollars. so another again quick quick list quick ship very good sale we got 120 on two bucks so pretty excited about that uh at the same sale, we picked up this Winnie the Pooh uh, snow globe. Um, not extremely valuable, but it was cool. It was different. It was, you know, easily thrown into the bundle. Uh, again, it was with the Surface Touch mouses as well as these two uh, factory sealed card games. Uh, one's called Joking Hazard, uh, an offensive card game from Cyanide and Happiness. Uh, this is an 18 and up game as well as family feud after hours edition, which is an, a target exclusive Which is also for 17 and up. So we got these this uh, Winnie the Pooh snow globe and then the surface pro mouses for eight dollars and Again, we've already sold the mouses for hundred and twenty. So pretty cool picked up some clothes um, as well as this GameCube carrying case, which the GameCube carrying case sells pretty well, right around 15 bucks. Uh, but it also had some games. Um, the notables in here are Metroid Prime 2, which is about a $20 disc only game, as well as Mario Party 4, which is about a $30 disc game. Uh, other good games is NHL Hits 2003. It's the last year they did NHL Hits on the GameCube. It's about 10 to 15 bucks. Um, and then there's some few other not so good games, but we spent 10 bucks for everything and just in three discs, we have about $70 in games, as well as 15 for the little uh, game holder. So for another item I took a, snap, uh, took a stab on was this Coke uh, snack bowl. Uh, I thought it was really cool. It had good colors, good, you know, good content. It says Coca-Cola snacks, munchies, candy, uh, goodies, nibbles, pretzels, just something different, something unique. Uh, we got it for a dollar. Um, I was seeing someone sold two of them for right around 40, so I guess 20 bucks or so. I mean, it's a little heavy, but again, on a buck, I, I took a stab at it. Thought it'd be a fun item to own and fun item to see how well we can make or how, uh, how fast it gets in and out of inventory. Another cool item we picked up is this Hot Wheels uh, Super 6 Downhill Racer. It's got about five pieces. It sits about two feet high off the ground. And then this guy. Hot Wheels Racers, make your lane! Turns on and off uh, to kind of set up the race. Uh, we got it for five bucks and I was seeing it selling for right around eighty dollars. So I mean with it being able to break down it wouldn't be too hard to ship. And again I took a stab at it for five dollars. It was just something unique that I didn't really want to walk away from. Uh, recap, I said we spent six hundred dollars. We picked up a lot of stuff. There's a lot of clothes and some other items. Um, but the bulk of it was from an original Nintendo collection. We spent $450 on this collection. Uh, our initial rough estimate is right around $1,500 in value. Um, I'm gonna kinda go over how it's set up. We've got five plastic tubs full of games, as well as a cardboard box that has an additional set of games, a console, and some other added, uh, and some other extras with it. So, let's get into that now. Because there's so much here, we're going to try to do it as quick as possible instead of stretching it out and prolonging the video. 
Um, if you have interest in seeing a full recap of every single game or of all the titles and stuff that was in this $450 purchase, please leave a comment down below. I'd gladly do a, a video of it. That'd be something fun to do. But let's go ahead and kind of show you the games just in a quick view. Um, <clears throat> so with Nintendo games, uh, some things to look out for is age. So when you find games with five screws like that, that kind of dates it. Five screws are a little bit older um, than your three screw games. Um, but most of the tubs are, are like this, full. A lot of great pictures, great cover, great artwork on them. You know, pretty good condition. I mean, they're super clean on the inside. Uh, we Excel spreadsheeted it. So I have a spreadsheet of every item that came from this lot. It was well over 200 different items, uh, which put our total in about $2.75 per item or so. And we actually have already made a sale. <clears throat> so here's another tub of games. Mostly they were alphabetical order. So, I mean, he's they kept it very neat, very clean uh, of what you can see. Again, a lot of good stuff um, in really, really good shape. I mean, it's very clean. Uh, when it comes to the original Nintendo stuff, if I can get a game around $3 per without looking up the exact value of what's there, I'm fairly comfortable with doing that. Uh, with this purchase, there was a few items that I already saw within it that I knew a, a good estimate of value, so I was okay making the uh, purchase at $475. But again, we got so much items that it was just hard not to. I mean, our like I said, our average purchase price was $2.75. And we have a lot of valuable stuff. And I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna go over one very particular item that's very valuable, which is something that again we've already sold. So it's great. We're gonna go over that next. On Nintendo, there was about 700 games produced for the original Nintendo. Uh, about 650 items that were released in North America and again there's so many games to pick from it's like it's very tough to know what's good game what's bad game uh, but for this instance part of this lot was the series called Mega Man uh, Mega Man for the Nintendo is a very collectible series it's a very sought-after series uh, you have Mega Man 5 which is a very rare game. This game alone is worth about 60 to $75. Um, and then you have some of their other ones that are worth a pretty good amount of money. Here's Mega Man 1, it's about a $40 game, $50 game. And then Mega Man 6, which again is about a $30 to $40 game. Uh, and then the other three are right around 15 to 20 a piece. Um, we listed it as a lot with their dust jackets. And these games are, like I said, very mint very good shape uh we listed this as a lot for all six and we sold it over the weekend already uh it's sunday night we got this yesterday this was listed yesterday uh we sold the set of six for 200 dollars free shipping uh a great sale especially when you're making an investment of 475 dollars especially if you're part-time um I know if you're doing it full time, there's there is definitely more money to be spent, uh, and it will happen. Um, but on this set, this lot, spending the $475 and getting a sale of six of the games for 200 bucks immediately is something just absolutely awesome to have. Uh, just to show you the vastness of our set, I'm gonna kind of just take the lids off all the plastic tubs, lay them out, and we can just kind of go over it real quick to kind of see exactly how much that we did get so as mentioned it's a very large collection uh we spent 475 dollars to get it all uh just to kind of give a quick recap of it we have five of the plastic totes full of games we have the power pad and then we have this box that has more games a console a couple of box items a game genie as well as a bunch of extra sleeves that we can put on our on, on our more pricier games. I mean, as I mentioned, we sold the six games for 200 already. Games that I've sold, I mean, we have multiple Super Marios, uh, 
that the set. We go Super Mario, Super Mario 2. Um, this should be a Link. Nope, that's a Link. We got Zelda, the Gold Zelda, which we've sold that before for 15 to 20 a piece. Uh, I know there was a Gold Link. Might be in that box. Um, here's a regular Link. Metroid. Another good game. Here's this. <laughs> it's called North. It is called North and South. That's about a $40 game. All in all, it is a massive lot. It's, it is the biggest... It's my biggest purchase yet. It's our biggest purchase as our business for Courtney and I. Uh, it's something that we're super excited about. To, it's going to be a challenge because there's a lot of work to be done here. There's a lot of items to have here and list here. Uh, but again... The value here is just crazy. We already sold the Mega Man for 200. That console right there is worth about 80. There's multiple games that I've already looked through that I know that I've sold in the past. That's 20 to 30, as well as some that are 40. An unreal opportunity for us. Um, you know, it, it, it could be our biggest flip yet. It should be our biggest flip yet. As I said, my rough estimate was right around 1500 and that's putting it at an average sale price per game around seven bucks because we have each each bin had an average of 30 games in it and we have five of them so 30 times five is 150 plus the additional 30 games in there so we're at 180 at an average sale price of seven dollars minus fee shipping and everything we net right around four dollars per game four times the 180 is is roughly seven hundred dollars uh which obviously on 475 700 is not great but as we've mentioned six games already 200 i just pointed out three or four games right off the you know right off the bat that are 30 40 dollar games 80 dollars on the console i mean Rough estimate, fifteen hundred bucks. You know, fingers crossed that there's more in here that I've never dealt with before. That when we go do our research and get through it all, that we've got a rare game that's another hundred dollars. You know, this lot was something we had to take a stab at because it was so big and so much great stuff. I just couldn't, we just couldn't leave it there. Video, um, if it's your first time viewing, I appreciate you stopping by and, and giving it a view. Uh, if you can leave a like, comment, share, anything, any of that great stuff, it's deeply appreciated for us. We, we enjoy everyone that's coming around or coming along for our journey as we continue, uh, you know, continue to garage sale, continue to make our next flips, next purchases, always growing our business. Again, this was our most expensive weekend, uh, our most expensive flip. But, you know, what do they say? You got to spend money. To make money and and that's what we're gonna do and and see how far we can go with it so appreciate you guys stopping